welcome back to the vlog. I know it has been a hot minute, like two, three weeks, I think, since I've posted a vlog. Um, so I'm just gonna catch you guys up. I have to finish getting ready. My curling iron is heating up now. And then I'll be vlogging for like the rest of the week and all that stuff. But wanted to catch you guys up on what's been going on. So make sure to click the subscribe button if you are new here or head over to my main channel to subscribe there as well if you like this video. So, oh, I gotta hurry up. I am like so running late. All right, so the last two weeks have been fun, busy, but like just overwhelming to say the least. And so I have not been able to vlog. The biggest reason was because so I post my vlogs on Mondays. So Sundays is when I edit them. Sundays and Saturdays are usually when I do all of my like vlog and YouTube stuff. Um, I'll try to get some of it done throughout the week, but for the most part, it's like Saturdays and Sundays are those days because Monday through Friday, I work my regular job. So on the past two Sundays, the last week I was at a bachelorette party the week before that, my husband was at a bachelor party. So like he helps me with my blog and YouTube stuff. So I was kind of like stuck in this really weird place without him being there to help me. And then I had to like come home and figure out just at least what needed to be done for my blog and YouTube channel this weekend. So I just really haven't had the chance to like actually vlog. But on top of that also like I've just been, I haven't had anything that's been vlog worthy. Like I feel like I've, just been sitting around telling you guys like hey I'm trying to vlog and this is all I'm getting so it was just like it wasn't that good but it's okay I think I have talked to y'all since I launched my wedding timeline but if I haven't that was awesome and I love you guys so much you guys were so happy and I've gotten a lot more hate comments just in general on my channel um, once I hit like 5,000 subscribers I mean I get like one or two a day and I'm still steady erasing them. Like I erase them on my vlog channel when I get them. Just because everyone's like, it's a part of YouTube. Like you should just put up with it. It's so stupid. And I'm like, are you really telling me that I should have to put up with hate? <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. So um, I've been spending a lot more time like just trying to like filter out negative comments. And like I even have figured out how to create like a held for review thing so like I don't see all the negative comments and if there are certain words that someone writes in the comment section it will ping and make me approve or deny it before it goes live so like that's the biggest reason is there are other youtubers that like I'm afraid to even go in their comment section because I just know that no matter what I say I could literally say wow the sky is so beautiful and blue and someone would be like how dare you say such a thing that is horrible. The sky is orange. And like, it would just be this whole thing. Like, it does not matter what I say in some YouTubers comment sections. Uh, like, even I will get slack for it. So I have been spending a lot more time trying to figure that aspect out because I will never let that be a part of my YouTube channel. I just don't agree with it. I think it's so stupid. And I mean, sure, some YouTubers, like big, big YouTubers, they don't have time to sit around and filter their hate comments. That would be literally what they did 24 hours a day. But for right now, I'm gonna do everything I can to like have YouTube catch the trolls before so like I don't have to sit there and do that because they actually have um, people who like will do that for you so that's kind of what I've been spending my time on. I have lost more weight. I had been talking about that like I've been trying to vlog the last few weeks and I had been talking about like my weight loss a little bit more in it and then I posted a, I think it was just like a video of an outfit and I got, it was somewhere around like 13 to 17-ish, 18-ish uh, like comments on people and they were like, you've lost weight, tell us what you're doing. And so I ended up making a um, full video on it that went live on my main channel last week. Just because I feel like sometimes I'll want to briefly talk about something on my vlog channel and I'll just like discuss it and then I'll move on. But not everybody that watches my vlog channel watches my main channel or vice versa. And then sometimes I think things need to be a little bit more in depth. So that was, that's actually one reason I got a lot of hate. Um, like more people have discovered my wedding series and they like are so rude if I don't do something exactly the way that they would expect it to be done. So anyway, I'm over that. I'm going to get off that little 
I'm gonna get off that little soapbox. But I am down um, eight pounds from where I was when I like officially started changing up my diet. I was set like 162 when I started and I'm at 154 now. I feel so much better and my goal weight is 145. And like I've said, I explain that all on my main channel. So if you want to know how, why, how I came up with that number, what I'm doing, you can go watch that video. But um, I just feel so much better than I have probably since like even high school. Like even in high school, I remember I was skinny and in shape because I was a cheerleader, but my mom, like I didn't feel good. And my mom used to always tell me like, it's because you eat like absolute crap, Mo. And so now that I'm like eating good and I'm taking my vitamins and I'm losing weight and I eat just like overall more filling things, I don't find that my like mood swings, like my hangriness is as like up and down as it used to be. My body isn't as angry as it used to be. I just feel a lot better all the time. So just a little quick update on that. Um, okay, hair's done. Took about seven minutes, I think, according to the thing on my camera. Okay, so I'm done getting ready, but I wanted to tell you guys a quick little story. So a lot of people have asked, um, am I going to share wedding week vlogs, wedding week stuff, um, wedding weekend things from my friend's wedding that is in uh, like later this month? And the answer is no. I decided to put myself out on YouTube. She has not decided to do that. And I don't want to like take away from her weekend by shoving a camera in her face all weekend. So no, I will not be doing that. Um, just out of privacy for her. But I did want to tell you guys a story. So while we were on her bachelorette party this weekend, we ended up meeting Lauren Bushnell and Chris Lane. So Chris Lane is like an up and coming country singer. And Lauren Bushnell is his girlfriend who was like Ben Higgins, um, like winner, I guess on the bachelor season. So like she was engaged to Ben Higgins. That engagement is now over and she is dating Chris Lane. So we're in Savannah, Georgia, and people were either like super nice or super rude to us all weekend. Um, people were either like, oh my gosh, congratulations, look, it's a bachelorette party. Or people would walk by and be like, oh my God, look, it's another bachelorette party. Or you're too young to get married. Like, shut up, you don't know how old she is. Leave us alone. So we were walking to go eat dinner. We were trying to find a restaurant and we walked by this like dingy old bar on some back road street in Savannah. And this like group of people standing outside, a guy is standing there with big black sunglasses on and a black baseball cap so you can barely see his face. His manager standing there, you can see him, but he's got this huge camera and he's just like pointing at us. And then there's a girl that's standing with them that has on a black cap, like no makeup. And that was Lauren Bushnell. So these people are pretty like disguised, right? So they start yelling and they're like, do you know so-and-so from The Voice? And I guess that's where Chris Lane got famous. But they were asking about some random guy from The Voice. And I was just like, no, I don't watch The Voice. And I just kind of kept walking. Me and a few of other girls had like gotten ahead and then we realized the girls were behind us and they had stopped and they were talking to them. So I turned back around and I was just gonna be like, oh, I didn't realize we were stopping to have a conversation. And I made direct eye contact with Lauren Bushnell. So I was like, oh, that's, that's her. And I was gonna walk up and I was gonna be like, oh my God, you're Lauren. But I was just gonna be like, aren't you Lauren from The Bachelor? And when I walk up, I hear him going, you don't know who I am? Who says that to somebody? Like he f straight up talks to these girls who are my friends and is like, you don't know who I am? No, you, you have glasses on, a big hat on, like you're you're just kind of this awkward man standing outside of a bar there's no signage on the bar there's nothing that says chris lane is playing there's nothing that has his name on it there's nothing that even says what the name of this bar is all we see is a guy standing there holding a guitar with black glasses a black baseball cap and a guitar and then his manager or the guy that we assumed at the time was his friend is just standing there with a big camera filming us the whole situation was super awkward and like when the girls were like no we don't know who you are lauren was like <laughs> Don't you think that would be the time to be like, hi, I'm Chris Lane. It's really nice to meet you. But rather just stand there and be like, you don't know who we are. And no, 
I wouldn't recognize Luke Bryan if he was dressed like you guys. Come on now. So I just thought the whole thing was really rude. Um, and like the rest of the night, we were just floored. Because usually when you meet people that are celebrities or that are like, I guess Lauren would be more of like a, a social media something. I don't know what she is now. Um, you would think that they would be more kind and receptive. And if you don't know who they are, they'd either introduce themselves or not be a bitch when you act like you don't know who they are. And until the conversation was over, I was the only one who knew who they were. And that was because I saw her and I follow her on Instagram. And so I was like, I put two and two together and I was like, oh, that must be your boyfriend, Chris Lane. But never once were they nice. So I was like, I'm not going to say a word about it. So we walk off and I told him, I was like, guys, that's Lauren Bushnell from The Bachelor. And one of the girls were like, oh my gosh, she looked familiar. They were so rude and they just like stormed off. Legit. It was like, she was wearing a baseball cap like this. And like the only reason I made eye contact with her was because she turned her head and I could see who she was. Who acts like that? Who acts like that? Whatever. I just wanted to vent about that, but I'm going to go make my lunch now. And But I know you guys have been asking about that story, so I wanted to tell you. I mean, I just was floored. And, like, uh, like I went and unfollowed her off Instagram because I was just like, wow, you're so rude. Hello, friends. Um, So, I have not vlogged in a few days. Uh, I have so much to do today. Probably enough that I should justify putting on makeup. But I really don't feel like it because it's just so much effort. And I don't care. You get say hello. Say hello. He doesn't want to say hi. Um, but I'm breaking out a little bit. So I kind of want to let my skin breathe just, just a little bit today. So I probably should put on makeup, but I'm not going to. Um, so exciting news. Sam is officially a reporter he had been waiting for this job for months like he had messaged a lady about it months ago and at the time the position sorry I'm fixing my hair the position wasn't available yet it was like they were prepping to lose an employee and so um January was when the employee was going to leave and then the job would be available. So January rolled around and for some reason it just, they were like, we're sorry, we're not looking for it. So we had given up basically. Like on last Friday, I think, last Friday, we had a conversation and we were like, we give up, we can't do this. Like the job hunt has been too ruthless and we were gonna go a different direction for his job search. And then literally on Saturday afternoon while I was at the bachelorette party, they emailed and were like, no, 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 we need you to come in and interview as soon as possible. And he went in yesterday and they offered him the job on the spot. So we're so excited. Um, it's really exciting. He worked really hard for that position. He worked really hard in school for it. It's just finally time something amazing happened for that boy because he is an awesome man. So I am going to get running. I've got to go. I've got to, um, basically what I have to do today is all adult things. I have to go get my car, like my oil changed, my tires rotated. I've got to go, well, I think I have to go get gas. I have to run to the grocery store. I have to work on my schedule for, um, where's that folder I'm looking for? I have to uh, work on my schedule for some blog and YouTube stuff. I absolutely have to edit a video today. Like it has to be edited today. Um, so I've just got like a lot of stuff that I have to do and yet here I am sitting around casually like no big deal. So I got to get moving but I wanted to catch you guys up on the exciting news, the exciting things that are happening for my sweet little husband. Um, and I guess I'll try to vlog today but we'll see how that goes. All right so it's a few hours later and I look no better than I did last time you guys saw me um okay so it has been one of the craziest days ever i've had gotten so much done got home I have to do something else never gonna be done with this day okay okay, okay so another day <laughs> um you guys i don't think i've been this full glam since my wedding day i did like cut crease full like contour, highlight, because <laughs> I, um, and this is a little bit much, like I think the lip color's a little bit too dark. Um, 
And honestly, I probably wouldn't go this mauve like for a full glam wedding day. But the reason that I did full glam today, okay, so the biggest reason that I did full glam today was because I have not done this much since my wedding day, legit. Like, I've put on false lashes. I have, uh, I mean, I've, I've done contour, but like I haven't done like full contour, baking, highlight, blush, false lashes, like everything since then. And I said I was gonna do my own makeup for the wedding that I'm in later this month. And then I was like, crap, I don't even know if I'm still, oh, I scared him, I was too loud. I don't even know if I'm still good at it. Like I practiced so much before my wedding because I am not a full glam girl. Like I can definitely be a full glam girl and it looks like it's like, that's how I live. <laughs> uh, like I don't look like I, this doesn't belong on my face. However, I just like, haven't done it in so long. Hold on. You want a glass eye? So yeah, I just wanted to practice and make sure that I still know what I was doing. Now, of course, I will probably go a lot lighter on her wedding day with the eyes. Um, I just wanted to like match my outfit today. So I've got some stuff I've got to do today, which is why I haven't been vlogging a ton. I have to take this package to the post office. It came in and I opened it without looking at uh, like who it was sent to because I was like, you know, it came to my house and I'm expecting a package. And then I realized it was a former tenant, like not even the tenant that lived here before me, but the one that lived here before that. Um, it was one of theirs, so I have to take it to the post office. And then we have got to go get my husband some new shoes. He is formally accepting his job position like right now. That's what he's doing. I'm so happy for him. So, um, he wanted some of those like really cool brown suede shoes for a while. He had his brown shoes, his black shoes, but he wanted the like brown suede. And he was like, well, I guess I'll just wait till I get my dream job to get them. And he got that job. And so he was like, okay, let's go get my shoes. So we're going to go celebrate tonight, have a little date night and we're going to get his shoes. So, um, not much to do for the rest of the day, but this morning has been chaotic. I feel like I have not stopped this week and we are two weeks away from my friend's wedding and I'm like so excited. I feel like it is my wedding all over again. Like that's the kind of excitement that I have for these two. I could just scream and honestly, like I have such busy weeks in the next two weeks that I just know it's going to be here and it's going to be over before we even know it. It makes me so sad, but I'm really excited. They're just, they're awesome and I can't wait. Um, Steven sent me the rough draft of his vows today and I literally sat on my desk sobbing for like solid 10 minutes. So, you know, whatever. Normal, right? So I wanted to show you guys, you always love my animals. Look at what they do to my bed. I make this bed every day, every day. And every day they unmake it. Doug usually is the culprit. Usually he's the worst about it. But this little missy over here, Sashi, She helps him. She'll like kick pillows off the bed and stuff because she's a little brat. My animals are quite sassy. I can't. Ooh, these glasses are a little crooked. Mm -hmm. Don't you think? <laughs> Why are these crooked? Are they bent? I don't think so. They don't look bent. Okay. We're going to a St. Patty's Day thing. I wonder if they brought my, my new rug to the front door home. Somebody. Starting his job right now. Oh, you need to look at the time. Thank you so much. Oh, babe, will you grab that napkin from him? Thank you. Yum. Eating diner. Hey, earlier this week. Oh my God. 